trend line trading rules nobody talks about welcome to our channel once again all right so in this video we're going to talk about hidden trend line trading rules that nobody talks about irrespective of the trader you are there are basically two type of trader we have the trend following traders the trend reversal traders you need to understand the certain rules that governs trend line so in this video we're going to demystify by explaining the certain rules and how you can follow suit all right so if that sounds interesting and something you are willing to learn Kindly subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friend. All right. From the fundamental aspect of the market, a trend is said to occur when a market makes an impulse, a correction, and another impulse. All right. So this is the fundamental structure of the market. So without you seeing this establishment in any market, the market is not trending. So the first thing we take a look on wherever we want to draw our trend line is to establish this concept that the market has given us an impulse, correction, and impulse. So then you have a permission to draw your trend line and draw your trend line. All right, so this market is trending. So the first rule that guides every trend is a trend is established when the market makes a high and a higher high. As you can see from here, there is a high on the market and also a higher high on the market. So this high is higher than this. So the market is trending. The rule number two establishes that when the market moves far away from the starting point, we use the last two impulses, you know, to draw our trend. Okay. So the first trend we drew was from here to here. And as you can see, the market keep making a high, a higher high and stuff like that. So it has moved far away from our starting point and also from our trend. And if you draw this trend here, extrapolate it like this, it can never touch these other waves. So we use these last two impulses to draw the trend line. So that means from the wave angle that the market actually is making a wave within waves, right? So we can see from here that this market here, this whole move here is one wave and the bigger move is another wave. But that also tells us that when this market start breaking from this point, actually it's broken from this second point. And that gives us the third rules that when a trend is broken, the whole previous move becomes one move, which is one mono wave. All right. And that can only be used for one technical analysis. So what it meant is this, you know, if this market is broken here at this point, if you want to use a fib to determine a retracement point, all we need to do is to draw, put our feet from here and take it up to the end, to this end of this structure to determine the 618 or 50% retracement of this move, not from here and not from here, all because a trend has been broken. All right, so that is how we establish this concept. Now, the third rule that guides this trend is this. When a price touches a trend line the third time, automatically expect a continuation of that if there is a candlestick confirmation. So this is very, very, very important, you know, and that's why we need to reestablish this. From this concept, we have an impulse, a correction, an impulse, a correction, an impulse, all right? And after you have drawn your trend, most times for a heavy trend, you will see that the third time the market is touching this trend line, you know, it will bounce off. So why this point is so important? Because you have point one, point two, and point three here. Why point three is so important in, in every market is because a structure has been formed, which is this. And after a structure has been formed, it's a confirmation that the market is trending. And because of majority of traders are trend following traders, they will want to position themselves at the next pullback. So at this next pullback, majority of retail traders and also institutional traders position themselves here to push the market forward. But that doesn't mean it's always the same case in all markets. And we're going to dive into the real market chart to see exactly where this thing has been played out and how you can position yourself to trade like this. All right, so irrespective of the kind of trader you are, all you need to identify is your first impulse. And after your first impulse, your second impulse, and you draw your trend. From there, you watch out for the next time the market touches that same trend line. We have a first impulse here. We have a pullback, we have the second impulse, which breaks this. So here we have a trend. So if you draw your trend line here, so we are waiting for the next time the market hits this trend. So let's put a permanent trend there. 
So if I should put my permanent trend here, I can put it here, and we don't cut candles while drawing a trend line. You know, I've seen a lot of traders, they draw the trend on the body of the candle, but we don't cut candles because markets actually got to that point. So provided the market got to the point, we put the trend from the week. All right, so here we can see clearly, you know, that this market actually, you know, came here, started from here, and also touches this point, and now it touched this point. So this is the third time is touching this trend, and what happened? The market pushes high. Started from here, touches this as a second point. This is the third time is touching it, and what happened? The market moves high. Okay, so you keep drawing your trend line until the trend is broken. Once the trend is broken at this point, then you will now wait for the market to confirm the direction of the movement. Now, downtrend, also you can see the same concept here. Uh, the market started from this point, it touches this second time, and this the third time. So, the same concept applies in all the markets. We have the starting point, we have the second touch, and we have the third touch. And what happened after that? The markets keep pushing lower. All right, so in summary, this is the basic rule if you want to trade trend line profitably. The first one is a trend is said to establish when the market makes an impulse, a correction, and an impulse. So provided this breaks the previous impulse, you are permitted to draw your trend. And if this keep pushing, use the last two impulses to draw your trend. Once a trend is broken, you use the starting point of that trend and the end of the trend for a technical analysis. Assuming this trend is broken at this point, if this trend is broken at this point, the market breaks it at this point, then all I'm going to use, I'm using here from here to here to determine the retracement before the market keeps pushing down. And also, when the trend touches, when the market, when the price touches the trend at the third time, you know, we always wait for a confirmation, uh, maybe candle, engulfing candle, uh, morning star, or evening star, or dochi to take a position in the market. I believe with these few tips, you'll be able to draw your trend line uh, and trade profitable using your trend line. If you like this kind of content, guys, kindly subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share with your friend. And if you want to learn how to trade profitably, kindly contact me using the details below, and I'll be glad to help you and mentor you for profits in the market. Thank you for your time and see you in the next episode.